Hello Wanderers and welcome back to Skyrim. Today we'll be taking a look at the beautifully made Bijin All-in-One NPC Overhaul. This mod redesigns 45 female characters in your game, giving you plenty of super detailed and unique options for the wives and war maidens you'll encounter in your journey. Let's take a few minutes to appreciate these Bijin beauties in their homeland as we talk about installing this mod in your game. First of all, I had no problems running this mod alongside a full load order except with a small texture glitch showing up on Janessa in Whiterun. You can fix small problems like these by keeping this mod at the bottom of your load order. Painting in strokes of blood red upon the canvas of life. But yes, I will take coin to fight at your side. After all, where is the value in creating art where there is nobody left alive to see? This mod is actually a composite of three projects originally uploaded to the Nexus archives and compiled into this ultimate pack for Xbox One. A lot of work was put into making this mod look and work well, and that's why I feel it deserves a spot on my permanent list. Bijin is a Japanese term meaning a beautiful person. One of my favorite things about Skyrim and its predecessors has always been the high level of attention to detail. I'm the kind of player who will play a game as meticulously as it was created for me, and in the same vein, this mod offers a new and fresh perspective on characters that maybe we've had as companions for a long time, or that we have just seen around the towns a lot and talked to, and it's just a new way of getting to know them. Like I said before, the mod author did an excellent job of reflecting their personalities and their new looks, so you're not just getting a washed out version of the characters, you really are getting the full blown new features but the same aesthetic and the same feeling from the character. There are a couple of mods that I recommend pairing with this one if you are concerned about the immersion factor and those include the Vitruvia Male Overhaul which smoothens textures for men as well giving everything a shinier and newer look. I think it's really really superior to the vanilla models in my own opinion. Also I like the Kids Are Alright for a child overhaul and I like the Seraphin body like I mentioned before for a body and face overhaul for the rest of the women. I find that the great thing about that is that older women, I mean, you know, elderly women, don't get changed by the seraphim body and their faces and bodies remain wrinkled, which is a lot more realistic. This mod seems to play very well with the seraphim body and it also comes with its own set of underwear. I'll teach you how to use it effectively and keep you quick on your feet. Yeah, what's your problem? Beckel and me, we have a thing going. Try anything with him and it'd be bad for your health. This mod changes the appearance of 40 women across Skyrim, one from the Hearthfire DLC, Two from Dawnguard and two from Dragonborn. The ladies covered here are Adelaisa, Adrienne, Aela, Annika, Arania, Belava from Dawnguard, Borgak, Brelina, Camilla, Carlotta, Delphine, Eola, Freya from Dragonborn, Gerder, Grelka, Halda, Igrat the Younger, Ilya, Ingyard from Dongard, Ingen, Joanna, Irileth, Janessa, Jordis, Carlia, Lizette, Lydia, Maven Blackbriar, Mio the Lioness, Morwen from Dragonborn, Muri, Naja, Rhea from Hearthfire, Rhea, Rika, Sapphire, Senna, Silja, my forever wifey, Tari, Temba, Tonilia, Uger, 
Uthgrid, Vex, and Isolde. Tell me in the comments below who your favorite lady is to cozy up with. I always married Tilja and I always took her mom adventuring with me. Why can't the men in this city leave me alone? Yes, yes, I haven't got all day. There's a lot to say about this mod, but I hope this short video has given you a little perspective in helping you decide whether or not you want to include it in your load order. I definitely recommend it. Keep your eyes open for more Skyrim and Fallout videos coming up, including maybe a secret Let's Play. Until then, happy wanderings! A heathen. Lovely. Oh, don't put on that angry look. I'm just teasing you. Debella is the divine of beauty. She is a patron deity to artists and bards and those who seek life's simple pleasures. The temple offers her blessings to pilgrims and instruction in enjoying all life has to offer.